Hey guys, Donners here from Next Level PvP, and today I'm going to be going over how to deal damage in Mr. Pandaria PvP as a hunter class. Um, so currently, the Beast Mastery spec is dealing the most damage for PvP and arenas, of course. So I'm going to be going over the main abilities, uh, kind of rotations, and of course the spells to use to make sure you're going to be doing high damage in the arenas and battlegrounds on your hunter. So if we take a quick look at the new talents that are going to help with our damage in this expansion, here we've got Thrill of the Hunt. This gives a 30% chance when you fire a ranged attack that costs focus, or if you use kill command, to reduce the focus cost of your next three arcane shots or multi shots by 20. Um, because arcane shot only costs 20 focus anyway, this means you get basically three free arcane shots when it procs, uh, which is really nice, so you can just spam three arcane shots in a row, deal some good damage with that one, so it's a great new talent and a great addition to this expansion. Moving downwards on the 75 tier, you've got Blink Strike, which I've chosen here. Uh, it's ability for your pet, it's got a 20 second cooldown, it's basically like a shadow step for your pet that ports your pet straight to the enemy and instantly deals 600% normal damage. It's pretty nice and can crit pretty high, especially if you've got CDs up like Beast Your Wrath and Rapid Fire, etc. with the 4 set PvP bonus up. Um, alternatively on this, this talent here you can choose Lynx Rush, which again deals quite a lot of damage. What it does is it um, makes your pet deal 9 attacks over 4 seconds. Um, if there is more than one target it will leap to the other nearby targets and do the, some of the attacks on there. But again with CDs up uh, like your trinket and rapid fire, it, it can deal some pretty good damage too, so it's also a good one. Um, I'm currently using Blink Strike, but like I say, Lynx Rush is good, um, so I'd say either of those are pretty nice at the moment. Oh, on the level 90 ability, we've got Glaive Toss. Uh, this ability has just a 15 second cooldown, and it only costs 15 focus. Um, what it does is it throws two glaives at your enemy. If there's two enemies close to each other, it'll throw one glaive at each. Um, it also reduces their uh, movement speed by 30% for 3 seconds, so it's quite a nice uh, slow effect too. And it also deals damage while it comes back to you. Um, the one other um, new ability for Mr. Pandera, it's not a talent, it's just given. Um, it's called Stampede. Stampede has a 5 minutes cooldown, um, but what it does is it summons all 5 pets from your stables to fight at once for 20 seconds, which is really good and cool ability. It's great if you've got five spirit beasts. Unfortunately, my hunter have only got three because I've only managed to farm three so far. But um, it's really nice for bursting. So if you pop all your cooldowns, pop beast or rare, pop your rapid fire, and pop this, and maybe pop the, then a blink strike or a, or a lynx rush, then you're going to be doing some really nice damage. It doesn't reset on readiness because of the five minute cooldown, um, but it's really nice. And also, if you've got spirit beasts, when you use this, you can use your spirit mend on yourself or party members and get loads of heals out at once. So that's great. Hey guys, so um, we're going into doing some damage. So what I'll do is I'll send my pet in. I'll start dealing some damage here um, with some arcanes, blink strike, kill command, um, and glaive toss. So the kind of rotation when you've not got your major CDs up, such as beast of wrath, rapid fire, and stampede, is basically um, arcane shot whilst you're waiting for kill command and blink strike to come off cooldown and if you need to regenerate your focus then use cobra shots to gain some focus and basically yeah once once blink strike and kill command come off cooldown use those glaive toss as well on cooldown and if focus fire does proc you can use that to increase your haste and obviously increase the rate in which you fire out your shots so I'll just do some damage for couple seconds here um, and now I'm going to show you guys how to kind of do bursts so if um, if one of your teammates calls that they they're ready to burst the target if you've got some CC lined up on the enemy's healer say in threes you've just trapped the healer and you're ready to um, ready to go hard on one of the enemies then what you will do is you will basically pop your stampede pop your beast to wrath rapid fire Kill command, blink strike, arcane shot. You can even readiness for another kill command, another blink strike, another couple arcanes. I'll wait for my rapid fire to fade out, and then I'll do another beast of rapid fire. Throw some glaive tosses in between, and kill command again. So basically, um, 
what you're doing in terms of a kind of rotation is blink strike and kill command when they're off cooldown focus fire when it comes up for the haste increase arcane shot in between these as well as clave toss when you can and basically um, if you need to gain focus just use cobra shot you can use super serpent sing if you like um, I don't use it too much although it's it can it can do a bit of da damage if you're on a target for a long time it might might be worth using serpent sting if you're going to refresh it with your cobras but as cobra does not do a lot of damage at the moment it's not really it's not really um majorly important i would say at the moment all right guys and just to show you links rush damage as well with uh, cd's up what i'll do is i'll just put my stampede put my rapid fire and beast of wrath Use my Link's Rush, some kill commands in between, Glaive Toss. And I'll just do another one here for good measure. So, as you can see, pretty nice damage with Link's Rush as well, especially when uh, you've got Stampede up with all the pets doing that extra damage too. Right, guys, that's the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to nextlevelpvp.com um, and please favourite the video, like it if you enjoyed and if you've got any questions just leave a comment and I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you, goodbye.